This is the world's first solar-powered city car. Intelligent, compact, and completely electric. Designed for the daily commute and mobility-sharing economy. In this video, we're taking a look at the Solar City Car from Squad. We're finding out if it's a gimmick or a game changer. And stick around until the end of the video for a look at our honorable mentions. Let's get to it. To get notified when a new video is posted, hit the bell icon below, right next to the subscribe button. Thank you for watching Mind's Eye Design. Robert Hovers and Chris Clock already had impressive portfolios before meeting his colleagues at the Lightyear Solar Car Project. Robert had previously worked for A1GP Netherlands and the FIA Formula E. In contrast, Chris had developed interior concepts for Renault and was an early contributor to the PAL-V flying car. While the Lightyear Solar Car kept the pair interested, the hefty price tag of the products that they were designing made them seek another route. The two would go on to co-found Squad Mobility, a Dutch startup focused on affordable, sustainable, and secure mobility solutions. Their flagship vehicle is the Solar City Car, a compact solar-powered electric smart car built for urban mobility. At just 6.6 .6 feet long, by 3.9 feet wide, by 5.2 feet tall, you could be forgiven for mistaking the Solar City Car for a golf cart, especially if the optional doors aren't affixed to the side but there's a whole lot more under the hood than meets the eye. Squad Mobility started with a low center of gravity, tubular aluminum roll cage, two two kilowatt in-wheel rear motors, and up to four hot swappable 1.6 kilowatt hour lithium ion batteries. That's enough power for a maximum range of around 62 miles at top speeds of about 28 miles per hour. Comfort and stopping power come courtesy of disc brakes and four wheel independent suspension. At the same time, front and rear crash structures provide additional security. Integrated into the roof are solar panel strips that Squad claims will be able to add around 12 miles to your battery range, even while driving. That's based on light levels during a European summer. Better yet, drive it to work, park it in the sun, and have a full battery ready for the journey home. If you're low on juice and the sun isn't exactly shining, the hot swappable briefcase-like batteries can be taken with you and charged at a standard 220 volt outlet. Squad says the Solar City car will be perfect for mobility sharing, similar to the way e scooters are rented out in some cities. Rather than relying on customers to charge them, a public Solar City car would recharge while waiting to be used. They're also very space conscious. Three Solar City cars can fit in a single standard parking space. With the design completed, the first production of Solar City cars look to arrive in 2023, and pre orders have already begun flying in. The single battery option is available for pre order at a very affordable, approximately $6,525, while the four battery signature edition is $9,700. Could you see yourself in a compact smart car? Does where you live get enough sunlight to justify a ride like this? Let us know in the comments below. Ramping up the tempo a bit, we come to a company that is heavily driven by global warming. They think that we must rethink how we eat, live, drive. Arkimoto believes in a transition to smaller EVs like the FUV. The FUV, or Fun Utility Vehicle, is a beautiful machine designed with a purpose. The base version is meant for consumers as a clean, affordable alternative to your current mode of transportation. The FUV does well at its purpose, too. It has a top speed of 75 miles per hour and a max city range of 102 miles. It has the power to keep up with its contemporaries, but also has the lithe frame of a snake serpentining through streets and trails alike. The FUV pollutes the air less, as it has an electric motor. Still, it also pollutes the street space less, allowing for more control. That's especially useful when dealing with the other models based on the FUV design. The Deliverator is a courier variant of the FUV that still has those spec numbers, but with a shift in the design, catering to those who work with their vehicles. 
Perhaps even more important than either of those two is the Rapid Responder, the emergency response variant of the FUV. This version is especially useful for those in medical, law, or firefighting. The fire department of Eugene Springfield even deploys rapid responders, and they have some great things to say about it. The FUV and all its variants are certainly a viable consideration in the new market, and they offer unique help to people. Described as the next evolution of personal mobility, this electric vehicle made in LA has the potential to completely redefine how we get around in the city. Eli's self-stated goal is to revolutionize urban trips and connect cities and communities in a new way that reduces congestion and pollution. It comes in relatively cheap too, competing against the industry giants like Tesla. The Zero is completely zero emission and is designed for short trips. Perfect for those who live in the city and don't need their cars for long road trips. The last item on our list is probably the most bizarre and so probably the most futuristic innovation in personal transport you'll ever see. The Nimbus is, in essence, a closed-off, windowed bicycle that can sit two people, a passenger and a driver. To turn, the whole vehicle shifts, just like a bicycle. The physics take a little getting used to, but what's impressive about the Nimbus is that it boasts speeds far higher than what you would expect of a bike with its size. At full pace, the Nimbus clocks in at an impressive 50 miles per hour, more than enough to keep up with urban traffic. Also included are three airbags, automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, ABS, and traction control. You're able to add climate control, Bluetooth speakers, and a touchscreen control display. Its price is comparable to the high-end premium e-bikes, only with all-weather protection and luxury inclusions as standard. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button. Subscribe and keep up to date on future posts. Cause all you gotta smash like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make a time. Comment, say hi, hit the bell so I know. See you next time. Smash like, subscribe, click the links down below so I make a time. Comment, say hi, hit the bell so I know I'll see you next time.